darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. These profound words from Martin Luther King Jr. illuminate the power of good that dwells within each individual in the vast cosmos of existence. There exists a perpetual dance between good and evil, light and darkness, love and hate. These polarities are not just philosophical or religious constructs. They are fundamental aspects of our human experience. Take religion, for instance. It's a powerful force for good that has shaped civilizations and guided moral compasses. It inspires altruism, compassion, and forgiveness. Yet, it is also a force that, in its extreme forms, can breed intolerance, fanaticism, and violence. Similarly, esoteric and mystical traditions offer profound insights into the nature of reality and human consciousness. They encourage introspection, self-awareness, and the pursuit of wisdom, however, they can also lead to delusion, escapism, and the misuse of power if misunderstood or misapplied. On a more tangible level, volunteers and organizations work tirelessly to combat poverty, injustice, and environmental degradation. They embody the power of collective action and human empathy. Yet, these noble efforts can be undermined by corruption, bureaucracy, and misguided policies. Even astrology, a tool for self-understanding and personal growth, can be misused to justify harmful actions or to avoid personal responsibility. It's a reminder that the power of good is not just about the tools we use, but how we use them. Theology, too, is a double-edged sword. It can provide a framework for understanding the divine and our place in the cosmos. It can foster a sense of interconnectedness and reverence for life. Yet, it can also be used to justify prejudice, violence, and oppression. So, what do these examples tell us about the power of good and evil? They reveal that these forces are not external entities but aspects of our own nature. They are choices we make, actions we take, and attitudes we cultivate. But remember, as the quote at the beginning suggests, it's only light that can drive out darkness, only love that can conquer hate. It's the power of good that allows us to transform ourselves in the world around us. So, as the journey unfolds, choose to wield the power of good in whatever form it takes for you. Be it through religion, esoteric practices, volunteering, or even astrology, let these tools serve as catalysts for positive change. And in the constant battle against evil, don't shy away from contributing to the cause. Stand up against injustice, speak out against intolerance, and strive to make a difference in your own unique way. Because in the end, it's the collective power of good that will tip the scales towards a brighter, more compassionate world. So, remember, the power of good is in your hands. Use it wisely, use it well. Because every single act of goodness, no matter how small, contributes to the grand symphony of positive change.